So I'm going to put something on record here, um, not for everyone to view. I'm going to put this on a private channel. This is really just for my Ate Elsa there to understand. One of the reasons why I wanted to have an exclusive place for myself is so that I can help rehab people with drug issues. Um, Marcus was one of those people, and the idea was to bring him into country and uh, certain members of his family, I don't want to mention the names in case this video gets out, but please don't share this video, but uh, they were absolutely in agreement with me on this. Um, I had Marcus sign an agreement, which he probably forgot about, but uh, we have a copy of it there in California. Brendan pulled the file out and re read it to me over the phone, so I'm very, very comfortable. He's an adult, 23 years old and uh, responsible for himself and his participation in the program. And the idea is for, for whatever you eat, if it's a piece of bread, that what did you do to deserve that piece of bread? Did you work? Did you pay for it? And there's people out there, street people, that are drug addicts that end up learning how to be a swindler, a perfect, um, uh, well, I should say a, a charmer. Uh, the book by Dale Carnegie, How to Win Friends and Influence People, they they learn some of those principles, but with a from a street um, background, like um, a criminal's mind, perhaps. I, I don't know how to explain it in better words. Um, I'm running out of video here, but basically, <coughs> they want to make a friend so close, and they they use all kinds of um, blackmail type techniques to keep that friend true to them, and then. Uh, manipulate that friend to where they're going to get whatever they need, which is their money, I mean, their for cigarettes, their food, whatever, a place to lay their, their head at night, stuff like that. So <coughs> those are good tactics. They can be used in a good way as well. But when there's a drug fueling, um, like on, in the background, that they need to, to have, then what they try to do is cover that up, that need, and so I've been working with these people for over 20 years, and I, since I was a kid, my dad did. So, um, so when I brought him here, that was the idea. The problem was, is that he went right over to um, your family and got an account with them. So, to counteract that, I had them notified that they couldn't give him credit. But <coughs> what they did was they talked to me now and they explained to me that they were afraid because he's their guest. Well, he shouldn't have been their guest um, if I had an exclusive place that was my place. And so what I tried to explain to Marcus in the uh, beginning was that, no, this is our mission house. It's owned by Elsa. It's her place, but she's my ministry partner, business partner, and manager of what I had going here. And this was, you know, he was under my authority. Well, what he did was he talked to Bobby, he talked to different people here, um, and he was able to um, discard anything I said. By And then he used it and he, he said, I'm going to contact Elsa. What is she going to think when she finds out you're saying this is your place? And so he, uh, and and he uh, just the, the way that he twisted things and reworded things. So you can see that, the, you know, I understand. So... Your family said to me they were afraid that he would um, have a case against them because, you know, he was their guest and he was hungry. Well, I had bought 10,000 pesos in food. I had tons of food. But I had certain tasks, tasks that I wanted him to do. One was clean up in the yard, work with the cement up on the roof up there. And when I had told him he needed to do cement work, uh, he's like, <laughs> you're kidding. He was like really sarcastically thinking I'm joking, and I, you know, I'm not joking, so, anyway, he did stand up there, um, I didn't see him lift a shovel or do anything, I watched him, uh, maybe someone else did, but he did stand there, and he did get a, a meal, so, and that was because your family put some pressure on him, and he had an account with him, so, that was good, but, um, Anyway, no no worries, no hard feelings, nothing. It's just a learning experience. And so I was thinking, you know, my initial idea was this corner here was to get an agreement from you to build a little room like I did at Loloy's. Nothing big, just a small uh, 12 by 15 would be really ideal. It could be even smaller. But And then 
when I came here or had other missionaries or my son or my mother or different ones, it would be our place. And if I have the rice cooker and my helmet and those things there, it would be locked up and they'd still be there. Because um, I lost all those things. They're not here. And again, I'm not worried about any of that. I want to move forward, not look in the past. I want to try to find out what I can do to establish um, a place that I have sole authority over no one else except those that are in my team. And, of course, if you're in my my team, and I believe you are, and Brendan, um, you know, that that's fine, too. But our team, and probably only a couple people with uh, a key to the safe, which I'd like to have um, legal documents and some money. I'd like some cash kept. So these are some of the concerns that I'm trying to work out. Um, and, you know... It's true, yeah. All we need is money. Yeah, if I had money, I could buy that place. But I, I do have a little money that I'm working with that Brendan's sending, and I've got the motorcycles, the multi-cab. Um, now it's after that, it's going to be land, and I have several properties that I'm going to be buying. One is 30000 the other is 200000 that peninsula. So um, just be patient. Time, talent, and resources is what's needed. And... Uh, I'm going to keep working at this. I, I'm not going to give up on this island, this country, and I just really can't emphasize how much I love you, Elsa, for your participation and help and, and just your trust in me and confidence in our family and the love you've given, and it's mutual, and I thank you so much more than, I, I mean, I'm without words to know how to explain to you how thankful I am for all that you've done. Now, if my mother comes over here, uh, down there in Baal, I'm building their place down there better, but it's it's horrible. It's disgusting. There's no water. There. It's just disgusting. So my mom couldn't last very long, maybe a couple days or so. Um, <coughs> it's getting better, but it's still it's not good. Too much noise. So I wish there's a place here in your house. I could invest some money, maybe 20, 30, 40,000 pesos to make a room nice for our family that we could rent from you for a certain amount of time. I've got the beach house over there, which is nice, and I'm going to do that long-term rental, but I want a place here in the Soyan, and I don't, where I can bring my mother over in March, we can start working on right away. So if you have any ideas, at one time I suggested this downstairs area, I could have a classroom in there with a big screen video player and do music and have a CR and a little kitchen and, um, teach how to make salads and stuff like that so these are some of my ideas but it's just a matter of partnering um, more with you officially and that people recognize that people like Marcus and others that might come over and uh, my friend Tim now you know I hope he understands that uh, this is I mean the way things are the way things, it needs to be clean clear and can, um, easily understood and I need a place that I have authority over so I can work with these people. That's that's the main thing, that I can help them with their habits and they're responsible to me uh, <coughs> as I'm mentoring them. They can't go around me, in other words. <coughs> I'm not feeling good because I've been eating a lot of starch. So, Okay, I'm going to go upstairs and check out your place. I know we've been keeping it really clean. Can't wait till you come over. <coughs> I have so many videos to you, you have no idea, tons of them, which uh, just I haven't been able to upload, but eventually I'll get them uploaded. Oh, by the way, I got to church, but <coughs> the car stalled a couple times, and uh, I don't know why, but I couldn't get it started for a while, and then I coasted, and I didn't get that, that all on video. Um, so, the car is now here. I had it in gear. I actually d drove it partially here with the starter up some little hills and then coasted. So they did have church, but it's not even 11 o'clock, and they're already finished. When we have church over there in Baal, we start at about 8:39, and we go till way after dark. It's all day thing. So I'd like to be able to have an all-day church in your place here. That would be really nice make it really fun, have music. I love worshiping in church, so.